time. Thanks so much. Ahead here at four, a man runs out of the courtroom to avoid being thrown in jail. And the arrest made in Moore after a gunfight and standoff in an apartment complex. And more on the claims made by State Superintendent Ryan Walters at an education meeting. News 9 at 4 starts now. Oklahoma's own News 9 starts now. All right, here we go. Four o'clock, we are tracking another round of severe weather tonight. That is just there. Okay. I mean, you it's just it. like you in the it. sky of Oklahoma. And I was like, I can't do this to you guys anymore. It was okay. all that moisture. <laughs> Too all that moisture, rain, too much moisture Look in the air. Done. Yeah, we're still soggy from this morning, and, and, and here we go again. And, uh, <laughs> it's like I ran Bob, down the street Bob, and did the show. She thinks she's outside right now. Oh, <laughs> poor Bobby. <laughs> I, so, I didn't even notice if that means anything to you. I mean, it's all I could see. I was like, no one can hear what I say. <laughs> hi, Cassie. Like, hi. Um, no, you can see the shop behind us. That's yeah. Val and Amy. Uh, we've got our storm trackers out today, and they're headed out west because we obviously had a lot a lot of storms early mm -hmm. this morning. We still have some storms on next should lie, but we're expecting another round later tonight and into tomorrow morning. So uh, we're just kind of in this very persistent pattern. It doesn't want to go away. And this has been the scene in many of our hometowns or actually I'm looking at a different screen than you guys. We've got lots of sunshine out there today. Now let's go to links one and you can see this is what I was looking at. Uh, this is the video from Duncan. Chad Baxter sent this in and this is the scene that a lot of us were seeing earlier this morning and into the afternoon. It was just a lot of wind and a lot of rain and a little bit of hail even from time to time. And because of all the wind since earlier, some people still without power, 200 customers here in Oklahoma County, but several more in the Northwest, thousands more even. Just kind of looking at what happened earlier. Now, some of the storms, we still have those out there, but we're also going to be watching what is taking place out to the West. That is what is eventually headed our way. Severe thunderstorm watch out there until nine o'clock. So it's going to be another late night for us. But looking at next in life, still some rain and storms in central and northern in Oklahoma, but zooming in just a little bit closer, a couple of showers. Not really seeing any lightning strikes with these from Union City down to Blanchard, Chickasha, down to Dibble and Payne. Off to the east, a couple of showers in parts of Pottawatomie County up towards southeast Lincoln County and a little bit farther north. We were seeing a couple of showers up there in parts of Kay County as well. But here's the main event. This is going to be the next main event, at least. Lots of storms, some of these severe out in New Mexico and Colorado. This line will eventually form together and eventually move into Oklahoma. And you can see where Val and Amy Castro are. They're going to watch that line as it eventually moves into Oklahoma and eventually tries to move into the metro. But yeah, some rain and storms also in the north and northeast, some showers and storms across Osage County and around Perry headed towards Stillwater, but nothing severe. So in the meantime, the Star Integris camera put our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network finally warming up into the upper 70s, partly sunny skies. Tonight is not the only round of severe weather we could see this weekend. We're going to talk more about the other chances coming up in just a little bit, guys. All right, Cassie, thank you. And Oklahomans near the Panhandle, they are without power following this morning's storms. About 4,000 still in the dark right now. OG&E has about 2,200 customers without power. And North